from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Monday's top story. I, I will take the vaccine. I will urge family and friends to take the vaccine. Prime Minister Minnis in his national address to the country yesterday outlining the next step in the ongoing fight against the spread of the coronavirus for the country. The Prime Minister trying to calm some fears about taking the vaccine, warning about misinformation on social media. He told the country the vaccine is safe and it's the way out of this pandemic. By getting vaccinated, you will help the country to return to a greater level of normalcy. By getting vaccinated, you will also help our economy to recover faster. When a large percentage of Bahamians are vaccinated, we will be able to responsibly open up even more. More economic activity will be possible, leading to more jobs, more working hours, more family income, more small business activity, and the return of more tours in the months ahead. The Prime Minister again urging residents not to let their guards down. He says, despite the vaccines, we are still not out of the woods yet with this. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Latest corona numbers still holding steady despite a 34-day total for Friday. That included 16 persons who tested positive at a workplace in Cat Key and Bimini. Health officials are concerned about that. There were 16 cases on Thursday and 9 on Saturday outside of the Cat Key numbers, most of the others in the capital. 14 persons still in hospital, only one in IC. No other deaths have been reported. There is another murder to report. A man shot and killed in Grand Bahama over the weekend. Police have not released an identity as yet, but the Tribune is reporting that the victim is Oba Penn, also known as Punch. Three persons being treated for injuries after their small plane crashed in waters north of Katki in the Bimini area over the weekend. The plane was on the way to Grand Bahama. BPL says an engine at one of its plants tripped. And that led to the weekend outage here in the capital. The restoration process has been completed. 28 fishermen, 15 Bahamians and 13 Dominicans taken into custody by the Defense Force in the area of Anguilla Key. They are suspected of fishing violations and have been turned over to police and immigration. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Partly sunny and mild today. Highs from the upper 70s to low 80s. 78 at Freeport, 79 in the capital, 81 at Matthew Town. Caution flags are still up for boaters. Winds getting up to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. Next time is a low around 10 this morning. Next time about 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you, and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment, and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people. Paper, biggest and best. Monday's World News headlines another coronavirus milestone for the U.S. and it's a grim one. They're expected to pass a half million deaths from the virus today. U.S. President Biden will take part in a candlelight vigil later today to mark that. But there is some good news as vaccinations continue across that country. The infection numbers are down more than 70 percent and hospitalizations are down almost 60 percent. U.S. health officials are still concerned about the variants, though. No turning back for the citizens of Myanmar. They staged another nationwide protest against the military takeover there over the weekend. They're now planning a nationwide general strike. There's no back down from the military yet, though. 
Tribune's gas striker prices to start the week. Shell 437, SO 439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Plenty of sports from the weekend, including the latest on our men's national basketball team's America Cup qualifier. Not pretty. You want to read about that in the Tribune Sports. There's a swimming update from the Barracudas Club. Find out who won the Australian Open tennis singles titles. And some familiar names there. On the latest on the NBA, Buddy Heald and the Sacramento Kings. Now 12-18 and 18 on the season after a loss in Milwaukee yesterday. He had 13 points in that game. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories. In the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.